What is going on guys, Coach Joe here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the number one training tip that I bet you aren't doing that's gonna optimize your performance as best as possible. What is up guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den, and if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, check out all the other videos. We have lots of stuff that involves strength training and just becoming your strongest version mentally and physically. Uh, so give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all the videos that I am pumping out. Also guys, if you stay till the end of this video, I'm gonna give you guys an extra little added tip. Uh, so make sure you stay all the way to the end and use this in your training. So today we're gonna to be covering one of the most important training tips uh, that actually separates good athletes from great athletes. And if you have any guess on what that is, I'm gonna give you guys a couple seconds, pause the video, and then go down in the comment section and write what you think it is before we get onto it. So what is this training tip that I'm gonna be talking about? Well, it has to do with the mind. And mental training. As competitive lifters, or maybe even recreational lifters, we spend a ton of time putting hours and hours in our physical training when we should equally be putting that into the mental training as well. Now, what exactly do I mean by this? So long story short is years ago, I picked up the book, The Way of the Seal by Mark Devine, and pretty much it talks about the process of him becoming a Navy SEAL and the major characteristics involved with being a SEAL. When I first got in the book, I thought it was gonna be all about their war tactics and training and all the drills that they had to do, kind of just like guns a blazing style stuff. Now, Navy SEALs, you know, are top tier people as well as athletes. What they have to do is very physically demanding. What I was surprised to find out is not only on top of all the drills that I learned about, is a large portion of the book had to do with mindset training and specifically visualization and imagery. Now, as I was reading this book, I figured if the top level guys are doing this, we can definitely take something big away from this video, and implement it into our regular lives as well as our training. So imagery is actually a form of simulation. Now, unlike a regular experience where you're using your regular senses such as taste, touch, hearing, smell, you're doing all of this inside of your mind. So we actually do this whether we think about it or not. See what I did there? Think about it. How many guys have rehearsed a job interview before it's even happened? Or maybe you've gone over your first date with somebody and what you wanna ask them, things you wanna talk about, and hopefully it goes all right. Or maybe you're thinking about your dad kicking your ass because he took the car and you didn't ask for it. Is that just me? Bueller? Bueller? You get the point though. We're constantly going over situations in our head prior to them actually happening. And whether you believe it or not, it's been scientifically proven that it will influence your performance or whatever's gonna happen in actual real time uh, based on how you think about things. So piggybacking on what I said earlier, what is gonna separate a good athlete from a great athlete is using these tactics to help influence their performance and optimize their performance to, get, to be as best as possible. So in a situation when it comes to the gym, let's use the example of going for a PR. Now, most people aren't gonna think much about this until the day of the competition or maybe a couple days prior. But if you know that you have a good amount of time before the event or the lift is about to happen, you should be implementing these uh, techniques of imagery and visualization well prior. So what I mean by that is going over all the minute details. What's the atmosphere gonna be like? How are you gonna handle the pressure? Are they gonna play the music that you want? If they don't play the music, how are you gonna handle that type of thing? What color are the plates gonna be? I've seen numerous amount of athletes that train with bumper plates or regular iron plates, and then they go compete where there's color plates. And it may seem like it doesn't make a big difference, but since they weren't used to that stimulus, it carried over to their performance. Maybe it made them breathe a little bit heavier. Maybe they got a little bit more nervous, and that affected how that meet or that lift went. So these are the little things you wanna think about prior to actually competing. And I can guarantee you, if you spend more time focusing on this or focusing on how you're gonna handle certain situations, you're gonna see a big difference uh, when it comes to the actual game day. As well as visualizing all the good things, I also want you to visualize a lot of the bad things that could happen, especially in a multi-event or multi-lift sport. So for example, in the sport of strongman, typically there's five events. And just because you maybe do poorly in one event doesn't mean that you can't have a shot of maybe being on the podium or do well in all the other events, which is gonna help your standings. But typically what happens is you'll see one person do bad in one event and their complete uh, body language shifts, okay? They're, they go into a negative tailspin. Uh, you can see that they lose all their confidence and it ultimately just keeps them it's stuck in that bad uh, spiral of just negative thoughts. So if you practice 
in your head going through the situation of not doing maybe that great in one event, but you're gonna change your attitude really fast. You're gonna get back out there. You're gonna attack it. You're gonna pick yourself up. You're gonna be super positive. You'll see that when maybe these events do happen, you're much quicker to respond to the situation in a positive way. Now, when you're doing this, like I said earlier, I want you to get as specific as possible. Think about how the bar is gonna feel. Think about how pumped you're gonna get when you make that lift. Tie all these positive emotions to what you're feeling in your head. And that way, when it comes to the game day, it's just gonna feel like you've rehearsed this so many times because you have, and it's all been in your head. And then all it comes down to is execution. Also to piggyback off of strength sports, in most strength sports, there are lifting commands. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen athletes who do fantastic in training end up messing up on a lift command because they didn't practice that in their head mentally over and over again, as well as in training. So if you guys go through these mental repetitions over and over and over again, I guarantee you your performance is gonna increase over time. So my added additional tip that I wanna add on top of the imagery and visualization technique is positive self-talk. You have seen those people who are talking to themselves like a crazy person before they lift, and to be honest with you, it is working in their favor. So if you are talking yourself positively, trying to encourage yourself, giving yourself positive words that are gonna help lift you up, build your confidence, I am a huge fan of that. Now on the flip side, if you're constantly telling yourself that you suck, today's not the day, this hurts, that hurts, uh, and you're just being a miserable Debbie Downer, this is going to also affect your performance. So make sure that you're choosing your words wisely because it can actually affect your performance in general. I know it's cliche and you hear all the hippies going. And to find purpose and to live in the now. But positive vibes truly do work and listen, if anything, you're just giving yourself a little bit of an extra edge or chance on somebody, and if it works, awesome, fantastic. At least you can say at the end of the day, I tried everything that I could, and you didn't leave anything on the table. So my personal anecdote on this whole thing is throughout my entire competitive career, I have seen people who have already been defeated by themselves before the competition has even happened. This could just be simply how they're holding themselves, they lack a lot of confidence, then they talk very negatively about themselves, or basically admit that they're gonna lose into a competition. Now, the bottom line is, we're in this to compete, and if you're not trying to win in a competition, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, not necessarily is that gonna happen all the time, but you wanna bring your best foot forward. You don't wanna already have stab wounds going into a fight, right? So you wouldn't do the same thing in any competition. Bottom line is, change the way you think, prep yourself mentally as much as you are physically for your competition or for your training. So maybe you're not a super competitive lifter, just an everyday gym goer, how can this benefit me? Well, maybe just on your ride to the gym, you're just thinking about how your training session is gonna go. Be positive about it. Get yourself uh, hyped up a little bit. Bring your confidence out. And that way you're gonna see it's gonna transfer over to your training session and in a lot of other areas in your life. Now that's all I got guys. Thanks for sticking around throughout this video and keep an open mind and taking some of these tips that are gonna help influence your performance and optimize your performance to the highest level possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and stay up to date for all the videos that are coming out in the future. I really honestly appreciate it. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers. It's blowing my mind. A lot of hard work's been put into here, but I can't do it without you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna put some reference articles down below. If you guys don't believe me, these are based on evidence. So check them out and start using this stuff in your training. Peace.